a fashionable gadget, a toy for older children, or a practical vehicle. This car can be perceived in different ways, but the fact remains that the Prius is interesting to a very wide audience. However, for many, the new hatchback is prohibitively expensive. Believe me, the car of the previous, third generation is hardly worse. Toyota Prius I Generation, NHW10, produced from 1997 to 2003. The debut of the ancestor of the Prius took place in Japan in December 1997. Initially, the sedan was sold only in his homeland, a little later, in the USA, Great Britain, Australia, and New Zealand. The total power of its power plant was 79 horsepower, and the maximum speed was 160 km h Toyota Prius 2 Generation, NHW20, produced from 2003 to 2012. The second generation car got a more practical hatchback body, and in terms of dimensions it has noticeably outgrown its predecessor. And although the gasoline engine of the car remained the same, the traction battery lost weight from 57 to 45 kilograms, while adding in capacity from 6 to 6.5 R. The total output of the hybrid has increased to 111 horsepower. Toyota Prius 4 Generation, XW50, produced since 2015 Reptile. Built on the new global Toyota TNGA platform, the latest generation hatchback received an independent rear suspension. This added a taste of handling, but not speed. At the same time, by reducing the total weight of the power plant and increasing the thermal efficiency of the gasoline engine, the engineers made the car 10% more economical than its predecessor. Let's face it, with the loudly declared fantastic efficiency of the Prius, according to the Passport data, the third generation model consumes 3.9 L-100 km in the combined cycle, the real fuel consumption is noticeably higher. We operated a Japanese hybrid for a long time in Moscow, where for the same, 100, run, the car needed from 5.5 to 6 liters of gasoline. On the track, where the gasoline engine not only plows alone almost all the time, but also carries a 45-kilogram high-voltage battery on its shoulders, the flow meter showed 7 to 7.5 L-100 kilometers 20 years ago. For golf cars with naturally aspirated engines and automatic transmissions, these were almost unattainable numbers, but now, in the era of global engine downsizing and the introduction of start-stop systems, cars with traditional power plants have learned to drive no less economically. I did not just mention the 20-year period of the presence of the Prius on the market. Over the years, the technical concept of the machine has not changed at all. This is a body with a low coefficient of aerodynamic drag and a power unit packed into it, consisting of a high-voltage battery, a gasoline engine, a starter generator, and an electric motor. The game of this quartet is conducted by an inverter and a planetary gearbox, which allows the car to move forward or backward, as well as maintain the engine speed in optimal modes. At the same time, being faithful to the general idea, each new generation of Prius entered the market with something new. Perhaps the main technical difference between the third generation car, XW30, and its predecessor was the 2ZR FXE gasoline engine. The tandem of this 1.8 liter, it was 1.5L, gasoline, 4, with an electric motor develops 136 horsepower. Not enough, you say? This, by the way, is 14 horses more than the current fourth Prius. Yes, and not in the, in fact, Simus, but in an impressive torque providing peppy starts and lively dynamics in the city. However, those who are looking for a hybrid Toyota on the secondary are no less important than its developed speed, its reliability. The question is not idle, especially since you cannot buy a five-year-old Prius from us for less than 650,000 rubles. They ask so much for right-hand drive models, left-hand drive cars are on average 150,000 rubles more expensive. As you can see, the amounts are decent. On many forums you can find replicas that the service life of the Priuses is significantly superior to conventional cars. Yes and no. You can't argue with the fact that the parts of the hybrid brake system, pads and discs, are subject to minimal wear, because the starter generator in the recuperation mode performs a significant job of slowing down the car. The gasoline engine also gets less, since its speed does not go out of the optimal zone, and often the movement occurs only due to electric traction. In general, with normal care, timely oil and filter changes, the internal combustion engine and with a run of 300,000 kilometers is in full health. But whether this motor will survive another 100,000 without repair is already a question. 
but counting on the eternal life of shock absorbers, silent blocks, suspension stabilizer struts is naive. These parts of the Prius are subjected to the same stresses as on a Corolla similar in size and weight. Therefore, their service life is approximately equal. Finally, about the most exciting, the traction battery. The contraption is really tenacious, designed for the entire life of the machine, that is, 300 to 350,000 kilometers, it is difficult to kill it, but still possible. Therefore, do not save on a comprehensive check of the item you like in an authorized or verified club service. Like all such batteries, the Prius battery does not tolerate overheating, therefore, you need to carefully monitor the condition of its cooling fan, and in no case do welding work in the immediate vicinity, say, during body repairs. Another piece of advice from seasoned Pryuzovatov, do not leave the car for a long time, two weeks or more, without movement. With an empty battery, the car will not move, and the internal combustion engine starts only in motion. There is only one way out in this situation, a tow truck and a trip to the dealer. Suspension. The chassis is quite simple, McPherson struts in front, a torsion beam in the back. There are no systemic sores on the chassis. Scheduled replacements only. Shock absorbers serve an average of 60 to 80,000 kilometers, 500 to 600 rubles apiece. At the same time, it is optimal to change the bushings, 250, A00 rubles, and struts, 1700 to 2300 rubles, of the front stabilizer. Transmission. Here, again, everything is very simple. The function of transferring traction from the gasoline and electric motor to the wheels is assigned to the planetary gearbox which also acts as a gearbox. It takes a lot of effort to kill him. Nevertheless, servicemen recommend changing the oil in this unit every 60,000 kilometers, it should price 3,000 rubles. Engine. For the sake of better economy, the Prius has a gasoline engine running on the Atkinson cycle. In such an engine, the compression stroke is shorter than the power stroke. But you don't need to know this at all, because the scheduled maintenance of this unit is no different from caring for an ordinary motor. That is, we change the oil and filters every 10,000, in extreme cases, every 15,000. Body. High quality preparation and painting of the body for a long time protects it from corrosion. However, not a single used car is immune from chips, which, after contact with reagents, can turn into fairly large ulcers. Such an attack does not threaten a plastic physiognomy, but we recommend inspecting the windshield pillars and thresholds with passion. Electrician. Avoiding overheating is the main condition for extending battery life. However, if it fails, it is far from always necessary to purchase a new battery, 65,000 rubles. More often, you can get by with the replacement of several battery blocks that make up the battery. They are completely interchangeable and, depending on the region and the seller, cost about 2,000 to 300 rubles apiece.